Our staff at Ukraine's frontline nuclear power plant have reconnected one of its reactors to the national power grid, supplying electricity to millions of Ukrainians once again. The plant was knocked off the grid by shelling yesterday, renewing concerns of the safety of the Zaporizhia plant, which is occupied by Russian forces. President Volodymyr Zelensky says the world narrowly escaped a radiation disaster when Russian shelling knocked out electricity to the plant for hours. A Russian official put the blame on Ukraine instead. Backup diesel generators ensured there was enough power to keep the facility safe. Mr Zelensky is urging international bodies to act faster to force Russian troops to vacate the site. With a potential nuclear accident looming over Europe, French President Emmanuel Macron has weighed in, saying civil nuclear power must not be an instrument of war. And Kieran McQuillan joins us live from Lviv. Kieran, what is the latest on what's happening at the Zaporizhia nuclear plant? Well, as you mentioned, President Zelensky did indeed say that a, a radiation incident had been narrowly avoided. Some Western analysts said that it would have been a Fukushima-style event if those, uh, the electricity to, to cool off those reactors uh, hadn't been provided. Uh, but President Zelensky said that the generators had kicked in, and he went on to, to praise the, the Ukrainian staff at that nuclear power plant uh, who are working under Russian control. Now, the, the Zaporizhia a nuclear power plant supplies 20% of electricity to the Ukrainian grid. That was all switched off yesterday. It was built back in the 1980s. These uh, reactors are designed to withstand quite high temperatures uh, and quite high impacts indeed. But this is the first time in history that a nuclear power plant has been so close to a battle line. And indeed, it's the first time in history that this particular power plant was knocked off the grid. But we have had a, a statement from Energoatom, who are the energy, uh, nuclear energy agency here in Ukraine. They said that just over an hour ago at 14.04 p.m. that that nuclear power plant was once again connected to the grid, one reactor producing power. Now, there were six reactors in total uh, operating before the March takeover by the Russian forces down there. Two reactors currently supplying power before yesterday's incident. So those workers, uh, Anikaratam saying, desperately trying to get that second reactor up and running. Now, in a phone call between President Macron and President Putin last week, President Putin, in the French readout of this, did say that he would allow IEAE inspectors to come in. We have heard from a, a, a local Russian appointed official official in Zaporizhia. His name is Yegevny Belitsky. He's a former lawmaker here in the parliament in Kyiv, and he says that arrangements are indeed being made to allow those IEAE inspectors at some time to come in. Uh, stay with us, Kieran. We'll be getting back to you, or Dawn will, with our next story.